everybody, my name is Richard and this is the Subicraft server. As you'll know, as you've been following the live streams, I have been building a city inspired by the TV show Futurama. This has all been done on the live streams and it has been one long enormous grind. I've been creating these videos so that I can give you an update on where I'm up to and what I've been doing on the live streams so that you don't have to watch hours and hours and hours and hours of live streaming. So as you may know, I've been looking at screenshots from the cartoon and I've been using those as inspiration for buildings in this Futurama inspired city. Most recently I've been working on this building and this is the Planet Express headquarters building. It's a building that's been quite hard to actually build because it's so curvy and spherical and nothing's particularly straight. But I'm actually really happy with the way it's turned out. It's much better than I thought it was going to be. It's been a bit fiddly. But um, yeah, I think it's looking really good. Here we've got um, this big like container here with some pipes and I've used shulker boxes to the pipes, which uh, I, I'm pretty proud of, even though that was a nightmare gathering all those shulker boxes because we don't have a shulker farm on the server. Um, I've used, this is all red terracotta. I've used prismarine for the kind of cyan turquoisey color on the balconies there and there. And with the windows, I used compressed ice with just a chain going down the middle because it produced a nice thin window frame. Um, just something a little bit different than what I've done on some of the other buildings. Also, Josh has worked on this piston door, which is set off with a sculpt center, so you can just walk through it. You don't actually, actually have to press any, anything. And down there just behind me is a load of redstone that I do not remotely understand because I just do not understand redstone. But it's all very magical and clever, and thank you, Josh, for doing that. I haven't done the interior yet because I don't really know what I'm going to do in here. Um, but yes, it's coming together. I haven't done the ship either, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the ship over this side of the city, flying over it, because I think that'll be much better than trying to trying to build a ship landing in the Planet Express headquarters. But I think that's a good attempt. I still haven't done the back, as you know, it's traditional in Minecraft not to finish the back of your building for a long time. So. I'm still working on this little area here. And, we, and again, we've got some more shulker boxes here for pipes. The only problem is, is they render out when you go far away. So kind of hopefully no one will notice that. Um, when we're building the waterfront here, uh, I'm going to gather some mud blocks to fill in these different caps so that the waterfront looks a little bit similar to the picture on Futurama. Now, also, I've done this building. I'm working, I've been working on this this week on the server and this is inspired by what's actually across the road from the planet express building on the cartoon so i've just begun to put in some boarded up windows here because this building's supposed to look like a bit derelict and if you look on, on the cartoon the doorway's boarded up as well the green's a bit stronger than it is in the cartoon because there isn't a block in minecraft that's really light green that's the closest i could get it uh i've used lightning rods here for pipes and then like Fence, fences here for pipes here and I just need to do these windows and these are all going to be kind of boarded up because it's actually a bit run down on the cartoon what the area that the Planet Express headquarters is actually built built in obviously I'm still building the road here that's very grindy the last on the last bunch of live streams we've kind of extended the road down here and Josh has helped me do some of the road here as well and we've also been working on these buildings here now these are just taken from little screenshots from the cartoon as well and these are kind of background buildings because there's buildings that are associated with the storyline in the cartoon and then there's other just background buildings and that's what these three are this one here is some kind of shop of some kind um but you can't tell what it is in the cartoon but i really like it because there's loads of pipes coming out of it and things like that and it looks really interesting and compared to this one which is actually a bit dull um and it's a bit simple this one but what i've done here which i really like is i put lights at the bottom here and if you cover it in tinted glass produces this really nice effect where the light slowly fades out as it goes up um so it's a bit of a dull building but i like the contrast this is really interesting there's more to it this is a bit dull and then this is really interesting again you get this nice variety of buildings going uh, going down there also i built this huge skyscraper here out of ice and this is uh, this is one of my favorite buildings because it's just it's really helped the city feel like a city it's the tallest building uh, in the city so far, and it's just, it's quite exciting. And uh, and Josh put a um, beacon in there for me, uh, just to make it a little bit more interesting, and that shines a red light right up into the sky. And also it gives you a jump boost, which is quite helpful when you're building, because it's actually quite fiddly to build. So, new buildings since the last update video, these three, just basic buildings that I'm still tweaking and improving, and they're just buildings that are in the background to flesh out the city a bit, really. They're not in the story of Futurama. We've done a key story building, uh, of course, probably the most important building in Futurama, the Planet Express Headquarters. 
which again, I'm just tweaking as a go. And we've done this huge skyscraper here right up into the sky. And basically at the moment, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm building like a foundation of buildings um, to, to add more detail on later on. So some of this, it might look a bit simple. There's no detail and there's no cars on the road. There's no like nice little touches, but it's because I'm just building a foundation of buildings to begin with. And I'm going to build up from that. So yeah, lots of progress being made. I would like to get this finished in the next five months and then really bringing to grind out the buildings now and get them built so that I can start putting in the detail i'm going to put some of the vacuum tubes around the city some vehicles on the road really try and make it come alive after i've done the basic builds so that it really starts to feel like the cartoon so there you go here is where we are so far really happy with it it's it's gone better than i thought it would would and it's all rendering out now because i'm playing away the more i work on it the happier i am with it and I'm quite excited to see what it's going to look like when it's all completely finished. I really feel like it's beginning to feel a bit alive now, adding some more of those buildings that are that are key in the story to future armor. So let's just see where we go for, from, from here, really. One thing I am thinking of doing is putting a bender billboard on the side of this building, if it'll fit. If not, maybe putting it somewhere else. Start to bring in more future armor related uh, features. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please come and check out the live stream, subscribe to the channel, give me a like, blah, blah, blah. You know the thing. And I will see you soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.